Good evening and welcome to this ABC 36 News Update. I'm Megan Skaggs. A Scott County resident becomes the first man in the state to die from the H1N1 virus. The other five victims were all women. That's one of a series of firsts in this case. The Scott County coroner says the 39-year-old man was the first swine flu victim to die at home and the first without any pre-existing conditions. The coroner says the man had been sick for 10 days and that he did not seek any treatment. Now, ABC 36 News has learned the victim's name is Matthew Finger. He lived alone. He was found dead October 3rd by a family member who had been caring for him. Now, this news is just coming out now because the test results just came back confirming the man died from the swine flu. In Jackson County, people will tell you the biggest flood they can remember was in 1981. But that's not the only time heavy rain has caused problems around McKee. As Greg Stottlemyre shows us, there's progress in the ongoing push for solutions. Several creeks and their tributaries plunged towards McKee. This was the day after six inches of rain hit McKee in two hours, August 4th, 2003. We moved there when I was about 17. Tommy Sloan remembers when the 03 flood invaded his mom's house. It got up about three or four inches deep in her floor, you know, all through the house. Impoundments to trap floodwaters are a $5 million piece of the solution. Two were built in the 90s. Are we ready to our state representative? The third and final earthen embankment was dedicated Tuesday. It'll slow the runoff down. When the gates are closed here, the size of the impoundment will go to three acres, but during a heavy rain, it could swell as high as eight acres. So this is helping to keep it back. The mayor of McKee says while these costly flood control projects help, there's still a big bottleneck that needs to be fixed. It's the spot where two streams merge. It sort of does a funnel situation, that being that it, it uh, needs a place to go on faster. The mayor reasons why stop now, because McKee is closer than ever to solving its flooding problem. You know, they spent about $5 million on this end of town, so to speak. So my thing is, can they spend 10% of that, which would be about 500000 on the other end, and be a big help. I mean, it'll let the water on out. Water that has left bad memories behind. In McKee, Greg Stottlemyre, ABC 36 News. The flood control embankment projects were funded by the federal government's Natural Resources Conservation Service. That is going to do it for this ABC 36 News update. You can always get the latest news, weather, and sports by heading to our website, WTVQ.com. And speaking about talking about weather, you're going to want to take the umbrella with you as you head out. The temperatures cool down and rain heads our way.